V, Reed tells me Slider's a flatline. What happened? We happened. Got him killed. Looking up with Songbird flash fired his brain. Not that Reed could give a shit. Why would he? Slider was always disposable. A single use tool, good for one job. At least that's what the Reed I used to know would say. Speaking of, doesn't seem the old wolf has changed his ways. Jury is still out whether that's a good or bad thing, judging by our history. Well, let me just give one piece of advice, V. Don't look for a friend in Reed. Not him or anyone at the agency. We're a bad influence. I appreciate the warning, but one or two new bad influences in my life isn't going to tip the scales much. Um, gig's important, we need to act quick. Alright, alright. There we go, let's... Um, uh, there we go. By the dam. Um, track. There we go. Alright, where is the nearest fast travel point? Right here. Alright. Hold on to your horses there. We're, uh, oh, what's this? Increased criminal activity. Oh. Interesting. What's all this about, eh? All right, where's my loot? I was promised loot. Where is it? This is just a camera. Oh, hello. No cacas here. Sit all down.
Alrighty then. I'm guessing that suicide didn't take. Thanks a lot for wasting my time. Oh. Quit being a chicken shit cunt, Mama. Whoa. We got this. Um, stubborn ass. Remember, Daniels? I'm supposed to help yeah. you. Yeah. Oh. What was that all about? What was that all about? Exactly. One of his men dropped out after weeks of prep. And me, I'm thinking that's a problem that could bite us in the ass. Daniels disagrees. Uh, anyways, you remember the guy, right? Sure. Yeah. Pig who picked up a ride when I dropped by your chop shop. My garage. But yeah, that's him. Anyway, listen up. Yeah. You're going to Corporal Plaza, Arasaka Docks. What? Gonna swipe us a truck hauling med equipment. Your backup 
Uh huh. Daniels and his buddies from the NCPD. They'll be incognito, dressed as workers. You head on over. Daniels will be in touch. Huh. Shit, not a single Your Majesty. Keeps going like this, El Clowno might even get a haircut. An Arasaka medical truck, eh? Clubbing the truck of Arasaka's docks is a big ask. Any tips? Hmm. Better go at night. Security will be lower. Daniels will give you more deeds. Great. That all? Hmm. If we pull it off, the kids in San Domo won't have to go through what I did. Anyway, need a smoke. Go on, give a chum some space. Right. Where have I heard that one before? They all say they want space, but what they really want to hear is... Muammar, is everything okay? I gotta be your fucking empathy coach now, too? Chum clearly wants to talk about it, just can't say so. You think so? Alright, let's see if you're right. Hey, Muammar. Is everything okay? Muammar, something wrong? Acting weirdly, uh, <laughs> composed. Ah, uh, hell, Capitan, the Joker needs a fucking break. He'll be back. You know I grew up here. Me and Daniels. Yeah. Santo fucking Domingo. Sure. You know what we were most scared of as kids? Cops? Guess there wasn't monsters under the bed. Hmm. Unfortunately, no. Biggest fear was a glass of water. You huh? see, the filter sometimes gonked out. Any sip could be your last. Ooh. Talking cancer, arthritis, kids with the joints of 70-year-olds. All mm. in a fucking glass of water. In these homes, every damn day, years on end. Shit. This is Saka's doing. Gotta be. Our Saka factory's been pumping poison into the groundwater here since 2061. Of course, we didn't know how bad it was for a good long while. As I fucking thought. Hmm. Shit. How bad was it? <laughs> was. Still is. Everyone here has lost someone. Every kid's battling some disease or disorder. Guessing me and Daniels won't live to a ripe old age either. Could breach Saka's data forts, find the person responsible. You know, whoever covered up the leaks. Already did. Name's Maria Sparks. Looked her right in the eye, thought about what to do for a long while. You know their employees drank the water. They didn't tell them either. Our Saka wanted huh. the data buried. No surprise. So what did you do? Recruited her. Thanks to her, we know about the transport. I mean, I'm a fixer, mm. ain't I? Make contacts. Get things done. Sure. So this med equipment, it's gonna help the sick, right? Should ease some of their suffering, yeah. But the most important thing is peeps will see someone still gives half a shit. Maybe they'll feel something besides fear for a change. Stealing for the greater good. The system, man, it's all kinds of fucked up, V. Anyway, get going. And don't let us down. I won't. Alright. See you around. Let's try to get some deets. Oh. Not responding. Well, that can't be a good sign. Oh, here we go. Looks like we're in this shit together. Listen to me so it don't get deeper. Real hard to miss our target. It's a big ass fucking truck. Got a pick attached. Thing is, we got our suck a hustle all around it. Sending you the cords where to meet. Now get a move on. Okay. So are we doing this quiet or just waltzing in and taking it? 
Just get it done, don't care how. Right. Fair enough. <clears throat> Alright. Well, here we are. Where's Daniels? Oh. Ah. Da Daniels? So you can find the port. Great. Way to go, Merc. You remember yep. what's next? Sure. Look, get that you're stressed, but I need you to keep it professional. Quit looking for reasons to fight. And you quit your psycho babble bullshit. Now listen. Go Watch on. for security. Find the behemoth truck with the Arasaka logo. You got a visual? Hope you can handle it. Once you're behind the wheel, we'll jam their comms. Should give you time to roll before they call back up. Remember, the gear comes first. Don't damage it. Don't fuck around. Do use your damn head. Now move. I'll be on the line. Alright then. Here we go. Is that it, or where is it? Somewhere in the oh, nope. Out of here now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Roger, 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 sir. Thank you, sir. Seriously? Got some good eyes on you, boy. Let's go ahead and put them out. He's not capable! Yep. Surrender immediately. Jesus fuck. I thought my ma had pros. Jamming the cars now. Go, go, go. Oh. Thanks a lot, fellas. So I'll see you around. What? Shit. Can't have you dying, dying on my conscience.
You good? Jacob too. The hell are you walking at? Huh? Why the fuck are you still here? Here to help you out. Me? Who gives a shit about me? The gear's there. They blocked the streets by now. Fuck, go! Alright. See you around, I guess. go boss one medical truck coming right up straight from the docks eyes on the road you seeing me now drones V I got you in my sights what about Daniels he'll handle it watch the suit call you back stretch now just lose the company Say that again. Holy shit, your majesty. Talk about a close one. There we are. Yeah. Mickey, check the gear, dump the truck. Yeah. Daniels was acting like he didn't give a fuck whether he lived or died. Here in Sandomo, we all lost something to Arasaka. And Daniels more than his fair share. We hit him hard. Huh. So, what's next, Captain? I'd like to say we all live happily ever after, but we both know that's bullshit. You get to leave and forget while we got that sack of shit in our blood forever. Being a little unfair there, Captain. That's life in Santo Domingo. Anyway, relax. Tossing you a real prim whip. Got some bubbly next to it, too. Cheers to you. Oh, yeah? Thanks, El Capitan. All right. Take care. Oh, this is it? Sure, why not? Alrighty then. Alright. Not, not bad. Not a bad ride. Sweet. Oh, what? Hold on a minute. Just came back. Just came back from the bathroom and apparently Mr. Hands has tried to reach out. with that beeping. Alright. Did he find something? Heavy hearts. The building is a large imitation pyramid. I dare say you can't miss it. Do you leave the elevator access code as well? 2589. There we go. Alright, though. Oh! That's what's beeping. Excuse me, fellas. Don't worry, this won't take long. Warning detected. Yeah, I wouldn't worry much about that. Oh. Aaron. He took a dive. Through the fight, but somehow he's still in their pockets. Damn. Look, he still took a giant Steve step forward, Aaron. All you gotta do now is take another one. I should be relieved, you know, even though my boxing career is over. But when door, one door closes, another opens. Tried to coach some kids, and turns out I'm actually pretty good at it. There's prime young talent here in DT. Alright. 
There you go. We'll see them on fighting posters one day for sure. Alright, well... That didn't turn out how we wanted it to turn out, but... At the same time... Didn't exactly turn out for the worse, per se. He still managed to, you know, turn a negative situation into a positive, and sometimes that's that's uh, the only thing we can do. What? Oh, uh, thanks for the help. Haven't seen Iron this calm in ages. Boy's got a knack for teaching, that's for sure. Kids love him too. He'll make a great coach one day. As long as he doesn't give up. There you go, see? So, it turns out us giving him that weird, vague piece of advice was actually the right thing to do, after all. What do you know? Hey, you there! Yes? This is a nice place, so play nice, hear me? Got our eyes everywhere! Yes, sir. Alright. The Heavy Hearts Club. We finally made it. <clears throat> A lot of hustle around. Got big guests in from the city? Mm-hmm. Almost every day. We get all kinds of traffic in here from peeps looking to settle their biz in peace and quiet. Not many sides us can offer that. Right. Love to see what you got. All kinds of good stuff. Take a look. Y'all got that Jackie Wells? Devil Dick Pepper Chips. Potato chips coated generously with powder made from the world's hottest pepper, the Devil Dick Pepper. Gloves recommended. Bzz, energy drink. A super sugared beverage with 1,000 milligrams of caffeine that provides a tremendous boost to short term pro productivity. Recalled for obvious reasons. All right. I'll take the lactic thing and be on my way. <clears throat> See you later. Alright. Elevator time. Oh. They're expecting Mr. H to arrive in the coming days. He will be using the office until further notice. All staff members must double check the security measures at their posts. Additional tasks and shift will be assigned shortly. The venue must be t spotless. <laughs> Mr. H per expects perfection, and so do I. If I if any incidents occur on your watch, I will have your head. Sarah. Doors busted, huh? That's convenient. All right. Uh, two, five, eight, nine. Thank you. Private rooms, please. Take me somewhere private, baby. <clears throat> now, I see. Uh, and what is it your mother can't help you with? Knock, knock. Your father must get back to work now. Okay? Okay. Ah, if it isn't V. V, my favorite Merc. Splendid. What Hello. you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis Hanson. Excellent work, precisely as requested. Yeah? Come on, Hans. Flattery, really? Seems a little beneath you. An overused tactic. Agreed. Unnecessary. No, V, this is strictly business. For those who do their work well, praise is a mere restating of the facts. 
All right. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect, to see the man behind the hollow curtain, the elusive Mr. Hands in the Flesh. Not only did you rescue those clowns in blue, you also managed to eliminate Dodger. Calm, collected, and professional. Bravo. You're welcome. You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Mm. Dogtown, Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'll be done. Working with bona fide professionals, positively a treat. Right, so, um, gigs you had me do. How will they solve your Hanson sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out his opponent. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes, he looks for his opening, connects fists with jaw. I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Take it you prefer Dogtown with no Hansen at the helm. Hansen wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. Mm. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business trying. Interesting I'm sure. City. It's my own blend. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? So, how did this combat zone become Dogtown? Do you know? I, uh... Think I might. Heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective? to occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. Mm. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Right. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. Okay, so... It's all well and good shit, Shadden. But what about our deal? Did my part, time you did yours. Ah, indeed. Yes. The Black Sapphire. Hanson stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. Mm -hmm. But, given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate. And I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for. A token of my appreciation. 
All right. And though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, sure. or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. Hmm. The Shard, Black Sapphire Info and Blueprints, all nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Go on. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. All right. Thanks, Hens. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess. More local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Mm hmm. Should change ever occur as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Sure. Nice meeting you. Finally pinning a face on the name. You should count yourself lucky. Few have done so and lived to tell the tale. All right. And V, yeah. whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive. Mm. You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. Make sure to plant my feet firmly, then. Later, hands. Alrighty then, well, not exactly the ace up our sleeve we're looking for, but I guess it'll have to do. It'll suffice, as they say. Alright, I guess we better uh, contact Reed and them and uh, show them what we've got. Yep. Reed, got the data shard from Hans. Our golden ticket into the Black Sapphire. Perfect. Send to. No worries. This connection is secure. All right. Catch. It's on its way. And reception complete. I'll pass it on to Alex. And as soon as you're ready, join us at the moth. If I'm not there when you arrive, just wait. Till then. Alright. See you there. I guess. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> oh, boy. Oh. Uh, Come on, not again. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, shit! B, what's wrong? Uh. Uh. Come on. It's fine. I'm alright. Can I help? Really? Oh. Starting to get used to it. Mr. the relic? Yeah. Gets worse every day. Time I have left is evaporating quick. You experience them often? These attacks? Don't really keep count, but... Never know if the next one won't be my last. Rough. No shit. Dad's breathing down my neck. Always. I know what that feels like. Being a 
dead man walking? Exactly. I never talked about this, you know. I should be saying they tried to kill me. But sometimes it feels like they actually succeeded. Tell me more. Ambush. Attempt on my life seven years back. Yeah, you said. Yeah. What exactly happened there, Reed? I landed in the ICU. Why I waited for some Arasaka goon to come finish me off. I was betrayed. By our people. The FIA. I say betrayed. But I was sold out. Part of a deal. A peace offering. My head on a silver platter. All for a ceasefire. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always got to pay it. Come on, I'm gonna show you something. I get it. You feel responsible for her. your captain, she's crew. No matter what sinking ship she's on, I'll be there to get her off. Even if I have to go down with it. Let's go. Hmm. What you got back there? Let's ride down. Where we headed? On a little trip down memory lane. To see some old junk. This is your little spy hideout? I still can't believe Alex decided the best place for a bar was right over our old safe house. She's always had a twisted sense of humor. Where's she at? Waiting downstairs? She's finishing up recon in town. We should make ourselves at home until she gets back. Sure. Been dark for seven years, this place. Let's brighten things up again. Huh. Not exactly a five star, is it? Pretty. Both sides race to tie up loose ends. Yeah. A car bomb blew up one of my crew. Another was poisoned. A third got shot in the back of the head while buying a pack of smokes. A couple of us just vanished without a trace. Every night we waited for Arasaka agents to come finish us off. I had to make a choice. I chose to dig our heels in. I thought we still had a fighting chance. It was bold. It was stupid. A mix of both. Maybe I just didn't know how to walk away. Let it rest. Maybe. I don't know how to lose. Either way, we managed to save a few more agents. The price for that was yours truly. Hmm. Say what you want, but sounds like they stabbed you in the back, plain and simple. Saving many of my people in the process. You play grown-up games, you face grown-up consequences. But I guess. Not of everyone. It was Songbird they asked to pull the trigger. Wait. Yeah. What? Really? What it? <laughs> pull the trigger as in literally took out her iron and shot you. Not personally, but she unlocked the door for those who came and did. I was leaving the city, heading home. Songbird was still here, in this very room, in fact. He was guiding me on comms, led me straight into a trap. Neutralizing me. The last assignment. And 
Night City. Then she got a ticket home. Right. And you're now trying to save her. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. I had plenty of time to examine this under a microscope. Under focus, some things sharpen, others blur. But there comes a point when you just cut through the bullshit and see what's in front of you. And that Tom is... Bird is still my people, and nothing can change that. Fuck Reed. Now, my is, is a whole nother story. But Songbird, no. I got nothing against her. So why Myers? I miss anything? Oh. Some reminiscing. So good. Let's get this show going. I checked up on Slider's contention. Fucking had it right, it turns out. I dove into old mission files wherever Somi was involved. They were buried deep, near impossible to access, even with my clearance. Each and every one, the Black Wall. All authorizations, mission orders, personally signed by one person. Rosalind Myers. Wouldn't want to be in her shoes if that shit floats to the top. The NUS is a small country governed by a woman with highly ambitious goals. Sometimes those ambitions went out of reason. But that's not something we need to pour over now. Alex, what do you have for us? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. We'll plan in a sec. Say, V. Huh? Like playing fancy dress up. Sure, why not? Of course. Who doesn't? Mm, then you'll like what I whipped up. Managed to learn that some pop megastar is gonna grace the party with a show. Guest list? Expect everybody who's anybody. Really? That includes you. Gonna don fancy outfits and rub shoulders with VIPs. Be warned, though. Fancy doesn't mean easy. Ready for the deets, V? Sure. Hit me. Let me hear him. Black Sapphire, the most heavily guarded place in Dogtown. Doesn't mean security's airtight, though. V, you're gonna enter through a flooded tunnel system. Got a top-of-the-line diving suit, ought to fit you snug uh... as a dog. Water's maybe a little super toxic. So yeah, be careful. <sighs> toxic? Toxic how, exactly? From suspect waste, some sewage leak too. Don't worry, suits piss and shit proof. Already know what the hotel looks like. Really, really hard to miss. Flooded tunnels here. That's your way inside. Now focus. Uh -huh. You'll reach a terminal at the end. Jack in and breach the cams, giving Reed his window to slip into the building. You'll take different elevators up here. Right. Follow open a passage to his side. Before you ask, yeah, it's the only way. Area could be heavily guarded, so you'll have to be on your tippy toes. Couldn't get clean intel, so you'll just have to be creative. Improvise. Sure. You meet here. Soon as you meet up, you'll doll up like it's prom night and go to the ball. That's where you'll rendezvous with Songbird. All mm. clear? Sure. Yep. Prem. Okay. Let's talk gear. Take your Go time. On. Grab anything you think might be useful. A <clears> surprise <throat> awaits you in the box. What kind of surprise? Hold on, hold on. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see it. What do you got here? Oh. Is this... This your iron? This is yours, isn't it? Sure is. 
Her Majesty's been itching to return to active duty. Oh yeah. An honor. I could take her for a ride. Sure thing. That reminds me. Hands. What did he want in return for the favor he did us? Well, Hans has the mind of a corpo. War's like a biz to him. Runs it that way. He pits everyone against each other. By the time they realize they're all fighting on his behalf, it'll be too late. Politics. It's the same shit wherever you go. Yeah. You know, if not for you, we'd yeah. have no way of getting into the Black Sapphire reaching Somburg. Yeah. It's so. good to have you on our side. I mean that be. That it? We set? I believe we are. I'll hang back a while and then meet you there. All right then. Place stinks of memories, huh? See you around. A little dusty, but well preserved. What are we gonna do with it once I'm on the Riviera? Gonna lock yourself in here? Interesting. Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. Um. Oh, there we go. King of Swords. Fascinating. Well, is that it then? Oh. Ah. Now we go back to Misty and ask her about the new tarot cards we found. Alright. Ooh, some new gigs too. Alright. One, two, three. Three new gigs. Okay. Sure thing. Um let's let's check out the new tarot cards we got, right? Um Oh these are for the endings, right? Yeah. So should be this, right? King of Cups. A King of Cups is a creative and emotionally driven person. They're a strong individual who realize the importance of feelings. Intuition helps them navigate their lives. When fate is in their favor, compassion guides their actions. When they're at odds with fate, it'll be unwise to trust them. Huh. King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is Im Im imperious. They represent enterprise, pragmatism, but also attachment. From such a person, one can expect coldness or attachment to material possessions. They are likely to turn your world upside down sooner or later. Okay. King of Swords. Two things matter above all else for a King of Swords. Logic and conviction. They represent a person with a precise moral compass who is known for their caring demeanor. However, enemies beware. The King of Swords is a ruthless opponent who will not rest until you are punished and left to be torn apart by hounds of fate. King of Wands, the master of planning and unorthodox ideas, an individual who brings people together and radiates ins inspiration to those they consider friends. However, their enemies will soon find they are, they are an impulsive, devastating force of nature capable of breaking oaths and crossing any line just to see their goals achieved. Alright, there we go. Well... We've learned all we can about the tarots. It's time to see what Misty has to say about them.
Hey, Misty. How you been? Uh, lo long time no see. How's it going, Misty? You all right? I think so. Not easy, you know, putting my life back together without him. And you? Sure. I mean, you too. Well. Weird, but I think we're starting to see eye to eye. I had a feeling it'd work out. It's hard not to get along with you, V. Uh, thanks, I guess. You ever run into a guy who calls himself a Zen master? No, but I've heard of him. He try and give you some meditation BDs? Uh huh. Yeah. And then he disappeared. All I found was his clothes. And that worries you. No, I'm just curious. I think it's all a scam. He just dressed himself up for the part, hence the duds. <laughs> Real name's probably Ziggy Schmidt. Makes extra scratch as a pimp down on Jig Jig. Take it the meditation didn't help? I don't know. Just Not really. I want to know what the Chum's deal is. Well, he didn't make you do anything, right? Didn't clip a thing. So well. where's the problem? Any case, if you see him again, send him to me. You want to meditate too? No, I want to read his tarot. All right. Speaking of which, hey Misty, happen upon some more murals. A little different these. Can't say exactly how, just different. Hmm. Describe what you saw for me. Saw this figure sitting there with, dunno, a goblet maybe. Ah, the King of Cups. Oh, be especially careful with anyone you've met who this card might be pointing to. Well, hmm. Gotta be careful with everyone I meet these days. On one hand, the King of Cups signifies understanding, emotional balance. On the other, he's the opposite: manipulation and spiritual crisis. And V, hun. The last thing yep. your spirit needs is even more chaos and disappointment. True. So, um, saw a hooded figure, star, pentagram behind him. Devil's dealings, your area of expertise too? Mm, the king of pentacles. Having dealings of your own with one who's built a rich, powerful realm through sheer determination. Someone like that. Dangerous fee. World looks different from atop a throne. Your reign is constantly under threat. Hmm. <laughs> Rather deal with satanic shit, honestly. Saying I gotta be on my guard? I'm not sure simple caution's enough. Bad fate's stronger than that. But follow your heart, I always say. Even in defeat, you'll remain true to yourself. Uh huh. So, I saw a guy wielding a pair of swords. Mmm, you've met the King of Swords. One of my personal favorites. <laughs> Something good? Well, the King of Swords sees clearly and is a strong voice of reason. But when emotions run high, even reason can't always rise above the jazz. His truths are often sharp, painful to hear. Some would rather cover their ears, live a lie, if only to avoid suffering. All right. So there was this figure seated, holding this thingamabob, like a club or a scepter or something? The King of Wands? So, that suggests you've met a leader who sticks to his principles in pursuing his aims, or even some grand vision. Okay, good or bad? Well, as ever, it depends on you. The King of Wands suggests fresh opportunities, the discarding of old patterns or habits. But mm. it implies a certain danger, too, mm. of ruthless action and shortcuts taken. Right. And in the end, it could demand a sacrifice towards fulfillment of some great expectation. So... Sheesh, you're a real chum, Misty. Thanks. Great insights. Still not sure what to make of what I saw, though. Well... I think you're caught between strong personalities, 
warring ones even. They all want to influence you, though not all of them necessarily know it. <laughs> Nothing new there. Don't dismiss it, V. You've got new possibilities to explore, new paths to tread. On the way to either your salvation or doom. The choice is still yours, though. You still shape your life, your fate. Hmm. So what do I do? What's the right path? Just be true to yourself, V. Your heart'll know the way. A life-changing event is likely imminent. Watch for it closely. <sighs> yeah, you can say that again. How's it going with Mama Wells? Pretty good. Maybe too good. Well, how's that? After we said goodbye to Jackie, she invited me over. We talked for a while. Yeah. Now, not a day goes by when she doesn't call. Ask how it's going. Tells me about herself, Jackie, everything. Sometimes for hours. Sent me a roast the other day. You believe that? Apparently I'm too skinny. She knows I don't eat meat. V, I'm afraid she's trying to, I don't know, adopt me somehow. Uh, she's just Hispanic. Uh, yeah, that's... Rough. But who knows, maybe it'll pass. I sure hope so. Don't have anything against her, it's just... I think Miss Wells is using me to avoid thinking about her son's death. With a new surrogate daughter. Exactly. Come on, she's, she's just trying to be nice. Jackie gave you these cards, right? I remember when he asked me to help him pick the right deck. Mm-hmm. He picked just the thing for me, too. I feel a real connection to this deck. We could lay out a spread for you now, if you like. Spread of what? Yeah. Why the hell not? Focus on the recent past and what you expect in the future. The chariot. What? You're ready for change. Ready to seek the truth about yourself. And to help, you'll have... someone from your family? Family? I doubt it. The sun reversed. You'll meet some obstacles, but they will be temporary. So long as you follow your own judgment. Stick to your chosen path. Uh-huh. Strength. Strength of will, discipline, and courage will always be rewarded. Okay. But not necessarily at your destination. As the reversed magician shows. Perhaps the path itself is what's important? And will help you overcome your fear? Alright. Uh, well. Thanks for that. I guess time will tell. What are you... Checking them out? 